so this is a water computer that I've built. Um, these yellow parts are all 3D printed. Uh, it can be used to uh, represent binary logic circuits. And it is uh, Turing complete. So if you had a lot of different parts, you can build any computer that you want. Uh, here I've built a simple binary adder circuit. So this circuit has two inputs on the left and the right. And then the center is just uh, a water source. So this will power the different components. And then down in the bottom, there's uh, two outputs. There's the sum output and the carry output. So uh, the sum will be on, water will be coming out of here if either of the two inputs are on. And then the carry output will be on if both of the inputs are on. And then all of the other pipes at the bottom are just like uh, overflow water outputs. Um, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate uh, the different input combinations. So if I add water into the center, that means the left and the right inputs are off. And when both of these inputs are off, then uh, the two outputs are both zero. There's nothing coming out of the sum and the carry side. OK, next I'll demonstrate uh, one of the inputs being on. Let's turn on the uh, right side input. Okay, when the right side input is on, what should happen is one of the outputs is now releasing water. You can see uh, some water coming out of there. Oh, I think this, uh, this ran out of water. Let's, let's add some more water and try that again. Okay, and uh, if you just wait for it to stabilize, you'll see water coming out of only the sum output. Okay. Uh, next, I'll fill up the center container again, and we'll add uh, water on both sides this time. And what you should see now, there's water coming out of all three of these. And down at the bottom, after it stabilizes, uh, water will come out of the carry tube, and it will not come out of the sum tube. Okay, I think it's running low on water again. Um, so uh, next we'll try the last combination, water on the left side and in the center. Left side, and center. Okay, and if you, I'll add a bit more water in the center. And if you uh, watch on the bottom, you should see water come out of the sum. Uh, so I'll explain uh, how each of the parts in this computer works. Um, so if you look in the bottom of the container, I have a 3D printed part. It's like a little nozzle that uh, outputs into these tubes. The tubes are just uh, taped onto the whiteboard. And uh, these yellow parts, I have uh, magnet stickers on the back of them, and they just stick onto the whiteboard. Uh, so this is the main uh, logic component. Um, using just this one component, you can build any logic circuit. Uh, so this component has uh, two inputs and two outputs, one on the left side, one on the right side. Um, and this uh, moving part, this part can swing back and forth depending on where the water is flowing. Oops, I just knocked it out of place. Next, I'll go ahead and uh, add some water so you can take a close look at how this works. I'm going to add water into the uh, top container. This will power the circuit. So you can see when the left side is flowing, the water will go out the left output. And if I uh, start the right side flowing at the same time, then this will cause the 
container to the output to switch sides. Let me uh, add some water. And the output will only go into the right output.